here from Place to Buy and today I'm going to show you how to cook your own isobot granules to use for your show pieces and cake toppers. Okay guys, so much, you only need uh, your cooker, your pots, you only need your isomod granules, distilled water, and your uh, thermometer, okay? So these are the five main things that you will be needing in order to cook your isomod granules and temper it to form nibs that you can use over and over again for your future projects, okay? So enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you get updates whenever I upload new tutorials, okay? Thank you very much! Okay, so to start with, we need our um, isomalt granules. If you can see, the isomalt granules looks like a detergent soap, okay? So if you know those, um, what do you call it, fertilizer for the plants, the urea, they look exactly the same, okay? So these are like granulated form of isomalt. Uh, you can see isomalt in powder form as well, but I prefer to use the granulated because this is the one which is available with us in the UAE. So you have your pot, okay, this is just normal pot. Actually, this is an induction pot, but since I'm not using an induction stove, it works anyway. I'm just going to um, turn it on. Okay, so now it's on. I'm going to pour my isomalt granules. This is over one kilo. I don't, I don't usually um, recommend cooking below one kilo. So that we can avoid premature yellowing. Alright, so um, this is over a kilo and now I'm just going to uh, put water. Okay, some of the, the teachers who would um, teach you how to cook your isomalt, they just do it directly without the water. But I prefer doing with water because it helps in, uh, it helps in dissolving the isomalt granules, okay? So, uh, just enough water until it resembles a wet sand, but uh, you don't have to worry if you have put too much, it doesn't matter. Because if you reach the intended temperature that you need to cook the isomal, um, all the water has evaporated already, okay? So, we're clear on that, I hope. Um, now, I'm just uh, grabbing my uh, thermometer so that at least you would uh, be cautious on you when you have reached the proper temperature that you need to uh, cook the isomalt. So now I'm back. I just grabbed uh, several pieces of thermometer to show you that there are different types of thermometer. So uh, the most common that you can get is this one. Okay. And then uh, we also have the gun type. Okay. The infrared one. And then we also have these guys. Um, this is a candy thermometer, okay? And then we also have this one, the fried thermometer. They would all work, okay? Uh, as long as they are capable to reach high temperatures past 333 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or around 167 degrees Celsius. So I personally have this guy, okay? So uh, I'm showing you this is not so easy to, to, um, to find. But then I'm showing you that even if you have this kinds of thermometer, they would work. Alright? So this one, I already have preset my thermometer to 167 uh, Celsius. This is uh, around 333 Fahrenheit. So once it reaches 333 Fahrenheit, it will, uh, you will hear a beep. So it's, there's an alarm. Okay? So I'm just gonna put it here. Okay? And wait until uh, it reaches the intended uh, temperature. As you can see now, that uh, this is like boiling, like boiling, boiling, alright? So, uh, you just have to leave it, no need to stir it, it's just okay. If you see that there are um, like sugar, at the sides, you can just brush it off with silicone spatula, a silicone uh, brush. So I just have this uh, water and my silicone brush, and then I'm just bright brushing the sides. All right, so that we don't get the caramelized um, isomalt. All right, so this will just wash off those uh, spills from the sides. 
while we are waiting for this to uh, reach the target temperature, what I'll do is I'll just prepare a water water bath. So I'm just having my basin here, and then I'm going to put uh, like normal temperature water from the tap. So if you can see there, I have uh, I have a bowl with uh, I have this bowl with water from the tap, and then I have prepared my hand towel. Okay. So this is for the purpose of shocking the isomalt when it has reached the temperature. Remember I said to uh, that our target is 167 Celsius, okay? So if we convert it to Fahrenheit, it's about 333 or uh, something like that. As soon as we reach that one, we are going to turn off the stove. But even if we turn off the stove, the isomalt temperature will continue to rise. Okay, so to stop that from rising, what we're going to do is to shock it, okay? That's why we need this basin with water on here. So as soon as we have reached the ter target temperature, we will turn it off, take out the thermometer. You have to lift it, bring it to the basin with water, and then shock it until the hissing sound stops. So after completion of the cooking process, you have to uh, put it in your silicone molds or silicone pans, like this one, and until it cools down, alright? So you can see there are still uh, like the bubbles there. You can get rid of them, okay, when you are doing your remelting. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. And I can't wait for you to join me in my adventures in Isomalt. Okay? Till next time. Bye!